Excuse me. Hey, I know this is random, but I think you're really cute, and I want to come over and say hello. Oh, thank you. Where are you from? I live out here. Oh, you live out here in your local Vegas? I'm from Tampa. Oh, how do you like it out here? I'm tired. <laughs> I've been here for a week, and I'm going home tomorrow. And yeah, so I just wanted to here in the mall, just doing some shopping to get out of this wind. It's absolutely crazy. I wanted to go to the pool party today, and it just was not happening. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just walking around trying to figure out what I want to do tonight and stuff. So I have no idea. I don't shop. I don't go on the strip at night at all. Yeah, you're local, right? Yeah, just I avoid this at all costs. Besides today, I went on the brunch, but that was it. I would always. You went to the brunch? Yeah. We're out. Uh, happy camper. Was it good? Yeah, I like it there. It's really good. Really good? Yeah. It's always interesting to get the perspective from the locals. Yeah. Unlike, uh, you know, where the actual cool places are that aren't like tourist traps. Yeah. I'll say, I avoid the strip at all costs, too, overpriced and all that. If I was in a little casino, I would go outside of the strip. Outside of the strip? Yeah. Are you a gambler? I'm not a gambler with lots of hands on the mouth or anything like that. I just go outside the strip and ever go on the strip that's overpriced. Well, I never spend anything. Yeah, I come in here, I spend $18 for a bottle of water. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, see, I would rather wait for the rain to fall in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do here in Vegas? I'm a cocktail member. I'm here every so often for work. I had to work. What do you do for work? I'm in real estate. It's always a lot of work. <laughs> I have it systematized to where I can do it well. So I like coming to these conferences so you learn more and get a better perspective yeah. on kind of like how to do things better. Yeah, I can't sell a house. I can't. You can't sell a house. I mean, you can sell cocktail. I mean, it, when they teach you to do cocktail serving, don't they teach you the hustle? No, you just, do you want a drink? Okay, what do you want? All right, I'll get it. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Is okay. that, you say it's sassy like that? Like, what do you like? What do you like? Or most of the time, I want like Jack and Coke. If you gotta be a cocktail server, like you gotta have that. I don't know. You must. You have to be like an outgoing person. I am too outgoing. I think I'm like the most outgoing person. Know, You're the most outgoing person, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know that for sure. <laughs> well, you're confident. I can get get that. I'm just talking to you for a couple minutes. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Try to frame it more positive. You're kind of like, oh, it's windy and blah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm here because I was at the. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. go to the pool party today, you know, like, blah, blah, blah. When she says she was the, ex the most extroverted person, you're like, you I should have busted like, her on that. She'd be like, I know. That's why I came and talked to you. <laughs> I just sense your aura, you know? <laughs> the gravity. Your, your, your bubbly energy pulled me towards you. She had good you. energy. She was a good one, though, yeah. for experts, because yeah. she, she actually so was. So that's really like. It, I would try to add a little bit of flirtiness. I mean, uh, it did seem a little. Uh, yeah, I was kind of caught off guard. Of yeah, I was kind of caught off guard. I came yeah. off, came in with some, some, yeah. you know, with the opener, the direct opener built it with some yeah. tension, and then you just kind of backed off of it because it was almost like it was too much for me to handle. Yeah. Try to close anyways, man. Just for practice, get that motor uh, muscle memory down. Seller on Tampa. Uh, you could talk about the boardwalk. You could talk about how friendly the people are. Oh, you could talk about how I didn't know girls in Vegas were this friendly. Now, are you the exception, or is this, you know, like you gotta, yeah, yeah. yeah, you gotta make them feel a little. Uh, you you know, gotta feel something from the conversation. Yeah. You know, you could say, "Oh, Tampa, it's kind of like uh, Miami, but less pretentious with douchebag." <laughs> Just a little bit more, you know, get the best of both worlds.